Hey guys, check it out. I'm Adam Driver. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time we got going on the quests here in Lasham Cove. And now we've got quite a few more to do. We're gonna wrap things up here today and move before we move on. My favorite. Oh. Uh well, uh this thing was a little too well wrapped up, so I wasn't able to get it. This airship is actually the same airship that uh, Rex and uh, the others make an escape from with Nia in the future. It's still in service. Though I do question how many parts of an airship you can change before it isn't the same airship anymore. Uh, I want to talk to Hassan Shop. I think I've heard that in an old cartoon once. Hey there. What do you think of the state-of-the-art Ardanian flagship? Pretty nifty, huh? I'll say. This thing could be in service for 500 more years. The only downside is that the modern tech makes, it, uh, makes us mechanics cry. Every time I've been an I'm anchored in port, I'm always so busy with repairs. I haven't been home in such a long time. The longer you spend flying around all the rest, the more you start to yearn for the taste of home. I tried to make a recipe for my mother you, you, uh, used to make for memory, but it didn't go too well. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have someone who can cook in your party, would you? If I could tell you the recipe, do you think you could cook up some food from my hometown, Chilsane? Chilsanian Kasha. Excellent, looking forward to some delicious home-cooked food. Mmm, I can taste it already. A taste of home. Let's I tried licking my house when I was five. It uh was high in iron. Okay, so we got a new recipe for gin. We're gonna have to go to a camp in order to make that because you can't just use the gas stove on board the airship. That would make too much sense and you wouldn't get in your leg day exercises by going all this way. The new recipe can be made with, okay, wheat and flour. The only thing I'm missing is a bird clam, which can be found at, oh, we're going to someplace new today, okay. We're going off to Toragoth Arch for this one, and then dropping down into Cooley Lake. A place that we've yet to visit in this time period. As somewhere around here, there should be a fishy collection point. Look at that, fishy collection point. Ichthyology with Aegean. And bird clam, nice and easy. Oh, hi! Uh, I didn't even finish saying hello yet! We're not done yet. We must consider our options carefully. Wait, did, did the Ardanian say you're not done yet? Hugo? Hugo? Are you the Iblis trigger? This is a terrible item, minus 4% ether damage taken. A new recipe is still a new recipe, and thus we shall. Hello, sir. Made it myself. Oh, this is wonderful. It looks perfect. Let me have a wee taste. What's this? A mouthwatering medley of meat and fish stewed slightly sweet, stewed in a slightly sweet sauce. This is some top-notch cooking. But I can tell you right now that this is not Chilsanian cuisine, and I'll tell you why. Because you're from Torna, you filthy man. No, it's just too delicious. <laughs> My mother's home-cooked recipes never tasted as good as this. The smell of the fish was completely overpowering and the meat was tough as old boots. That's the kind of poor quality you can expect from Ardanian cooking. If only there were someone who could recreate that authentic local flavor. I doubt anyone but a true Ardanian can really prepare something that appeals to our particular tastes. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some real Chilsanian kasha. That means we have to make it. <laughs> oh god, no. Well, uh, I hope his mother got to say that she loved him before he died. Y yet again, all I need is a bird clam for this. I'm kind of excited. Is this some kind of southern dialect where it's a buried clam and they're like, oh yeah, that there was a bird clam? Hmm. Maybe I missed a step? Okay, we have flour and meat. Okay, that makes sense. We have essentially a pumpkin and an orange. You know, in concept, this doesn't sound like it's unsalvageable if the ratios are just right. You want cooking that tastes like old boots? I'll give you a cooking that tastes like old boots. It tastes even worse than if Mithra just gave me the shoes off her feet right now. <laughs> so, could you, you could you do it? Did you cook some Ardanian food? This is 
This food looks so good it could actually sa it could satisfy any appetite. Well, the proof is in the, the proof of the pudding is in the tasting, as they say. So excuse me while I tuck in. Huh? Um. Rubbish. This taste. The spices are completely overpowering, so I can't tell what I'm eating. Did you use oranges as a spice? The lentils have been boiled dry and crunchy. Completely disgusting and inedible. The quintessential Ardanian cooking, you might say. Well, I could say disgusting, but there's certain a certain a charm to it that you can't capture anywhere else. Yeah, in my hometown, there wasn't anyone who could do Ardanian cooking as bad as this except my mother. Hey, it's the young blade lady looking at me with daggers. Anyway, you have all been so kind to me. When you're in more Ardane, you're welcome to visit my house anytime. I'll treat you to some proper authentic Ardanian food. <laughs> Not if Mithra treats you to it first. That was enough to have someone join our little ragtag group. I'm honored. All done. We weren't doing any battling. He was the one doing all the fighting there. Gives service. us a blade combo boost one and a turquoise chip. I'm thinking with Bridget being fire elemented, this could be a good one for her. Fire is just a really reliable element. Appears in a lot of blade combo roots. And we've already seen a turquoise chip. Thanks for bringing me that rubbish food before. Hey, I really mean it. Thanks to you, I managed to cure my homesickness and cheer up. Now my maintenance work is going great. Oh yeah, uh, talking of curing things, how are you managing to heal up during fights? You gotta pay special attention that you don't lose one of your team during a battle. And it's much better if you keep an eye on those team members who are ta taking the most damage from enemies. If they go down, you might suddenly find your team, your party suddenly falls to pieces. You know, I gave some Ardanian food uh, to a workmate. He was fine one moment, then on the floor the next. Uh, we had some trouble filling our work quota for that day, I can tell you. <laughs> this guy's pretty entertaining, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we got these two jokers, McNath. Lost my comrades in the midst of battle when I least expected. If that happens to you, get to your down friend and lend him a hand. Keep the spirit, uh, keep the esprit de corps high, and you shouldn't have any problems keeping your party members standing. But if your team's lost the will to fight, sorry to say, but there's not much hope for you. And remember, a revived ally won't be back at full strength, so don't forget to lend him a hand. Just a couple of hints to keep you going. Take care of your friends, and they'll take care of you. All these battles are always based around teamwork, and I like that so much. Doesn't feel like a lot of it's out of your control, a lot of it's team composition and stuff like that. Characters fighting better as they fight more. I like it. Uh, there are certain items that have particular effect, special effects. I've noticed precious items. Though they can be sp uh, special in different ways, there's extra powerful others that last forever. What really ties them uh, together is they're not easy to come by. You won't find them in ordinary shops. Only people with special knowledge, such as Lord Adam or Emperor Hugo, have the ability to craft them. I didn't know that that had an official name of precious items. So precious items and pouch items. They were called shop deeds uh, in the All Rest of Presents, so I wasn't sure about that. Uh, next, we want to talk to Bethane. War with the Seans, raids by Malus. I hope Moratane can make it through. But I worry what would happen if we couldn't maintain our strength. We're supposed to be His Majesty's vanguard. In the face of this uh, kind of threat, we ought to look for some fresh energy to bolster our defense. You know, it's kind of funny. I thought Bridget and Aegean were his vanguard. <laughs> what? You say we need to bolster our defense, you say? Surely that's obvious. One has two choices in life. Success through strength or weeping and weakness. Well, that's in the world the way it is right now, at least. So, if there's something I can do to make his majesty a little stronger, what I mean to say is, I want to be strong and effective. I want to be a strong and effective soldier for the good of my homeland. And even, uh, and even if we're up against an opponent like Malus, I still want to do what I can. That's right. I could probably learn a thing or two from you guys. You look like you can handle yourselves. Maybe you'll do me the honor of giving me a bout. But don't hold back. No need to sugarcoat it. Just come at me like it's the real thing. That's the sort of mindset that we'll need if we're going to have a hope of standing up to the Aegis. I'm known as the best shot in the whole of the Imperial Army. Underestimate at your peril. Here I come! I wasn't ready for this. I wanted to play as Hugo for this. Um, we can take care of it if you want. Am I gonna have to run from this? May as well yes. Just face up uh, to them now. <laughs> what an awkward time for this to pop. I've considered turning this off, but I keep deciding against it just because, you know, it gives you an illustration of how things are gonna be. Uh, Mithra, run like a coward. Uh, evade fighting like Young you guy? always do. Uh, wh what? Pay attention. What? 
must not let this That pass. is cheap! We'll need to take a different approach this time. <laughs> I mean, my weapon wasn't drawn. You take more damage when you're running away, but yikes! I wanted to make this Bridget's debut battle. So Bridget only has two field skills, botany and lock picking. She does not have mineralogy, which was always the field skill that I knew her for, and she doesn't even have fire mastery. Um, in fact, I don't believe that fire mastery is anywhere in our party, because Laura's the only other natural fire element, and you know, drivers don't have field skills. It's all just as well that Mithra was hopeless against this guy, because I wanted to make this Bridget's fight. This is your mommy's Bridget and your baby's Bridget. Point is, she's exactly the same as you would expect from the base game aside from her specials. Her first battle skill is Warpire. Increased damage every single time that she dodges an attack. Her level one special, Wheel of Penance, is her spinning attack that has increased aggro drawn from an entire group. Her second battle skill is Firewalker. Increased evasion when her HP is low. Wow, we are doing a lot. He's just up in the air. Uh, her third battle skill, Dance of Flames. Increased chance of dodging ranged attacks. And this guy attacks using a gun. So makes sense that I would want to use her. Wow, that was fast. Okay, that was over quickly. All we really have is her specials left to go over. Unlock this. Think of the possibilities. She's asked for uh, the Gourmati Sashimi plate, uh, her favorite item. I believe that's crafted by Jin, and uh, it's right around this point that you should be getting a request for that no matter what you're doing. No, it's crafted by Aegean. We've been able to obtain all of these items for a while, except for the Bony Tongue Shark, which is found, you guessed it, at the very same collection point in Cooley Lake where we got the bird clam. Convenient that we were just there and all. Just remember to go up near the Bunny Stone in order to fight Grady's of a reasonable level. Otherwise, they will kick your can. Do you consider the Aegis's, I mean, my power a danger? As long as you are with Adam, there is nothing to fear. Phew. You sure put a lot of trust in that guy. I think you understand why I do. Does it suit your tastes? Mmm, delicious. I just have to write about this. Stay back. I am ablaze with passion, body and soul. A blaze, you say? Let's uh, take a look at that. Get that out of the way early. It's all so very fascinating. Everything else seems like it's just playing normally. This helping an incapacitated ally might take a while, but besides that, it seems pretty simple. We didn't forget you. Okay, you're even stronger than you look. Such incredible power. I'm the best sniper in the Imperial Army, but you made light work of me. You showed us all up. It's not just your physical strength either. It's the way that you fight as driver and blade, that incredible synergy. I get the feeling your true strength lies in the connection that you have. You've shown me the way. From now on, I won't see myself as a lone wolf anymore, but a part of a larger whole. I think of my friends and the, of all the Ardanian people and all the future generations. I'll make my goal in life to be someone who is loved and respected by my people. This battle has taught me what I really ought to be aiming for in life. I hardly have the words to thank you. So, Bethine, you might remember I that in More Ardane is Bathine Tower, named after a great sniper that lived hundreds of years ago who's legendary in the Ardanian military. We got to see his start of becoming that legend. It's kind of nice how we're getting all these little backstories on why places are called what they are, because the Ardanian capital is just kind of, you know, it's Ardanes, more Ardanes kind of an emerging power right now, as we heard in the intro. Uh, Gormoth just starting to be settled right now. And it makes sense that at this time, a lot of things would be getting named after great people that are uh, that are exploring the world right now. Unfortunately, that farsighted talisman recipe cannot be gotten right now. When they say farsighted, they mean set your sights on Aletta. Shall we head to next? Back in Harad Hills in the in the uh, Lazaria region, I've decided that it's time for a challenge. We're gonna take on Harbinger Cavill. We saw this guy all the way back on our first visit, and I thought this would be a good time for it. Hugo's got one of those nice shield arts that's really good if you're playing as him, where he just deflects arts and his, uh, or he deflects attacks while his arts recharge. Or no, his arts don't recharge, what am I saying? I'm thinking of Poppy. Uh, Jin, you do not need to have the aggro. Let's get you to face away from them because I believe that that water attack is AoE based. 
Okay, break topple. I forget what Bridget's switch art does. It does not launch. That's good to know. Uh, we will be able to get her level two special any second. I want to chain my arts together. It hurts me that I can't. Her level two special. Does more damage at low HP. Uh, not able to take advantage of that too easily, unfortunately. No, no. Aegean, you come out. I'm not gonna be going over you yet. You are cursed to forever live in Bridget's shadow for the next 500 years. I need to do a Vanguard switch to heal, like, right now. Uh, well, I did, I was right about needing to do it right now. I waited, like, an extra second before doing it. Uh, get out here and do your level three. Uh, I can't do my Vanguard switch now. Crap, and Laura has the ag- Oh, God, this is bad. Uh, Mithra, just nuke it! <laughs> okay, go, 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 go! Spin it around! It's oddly similar to Pyra's level three, wouldn't you say? Come out, Hugo. I'm not gonna topple him, unfortunately. I didn't mean to use that. Art. I am messing up royally here. If Jin could inexhaustible, that would be good. He didn't. Uh, help up. Got everyone's got the aggro except Hugo. It's kind of funny. Uh, Bridget, get out here. Do your level three. That's so cool looking. She just twirls all around and dances. Uh, get you up. Helping an incapacitated ally didn't take as long as I thought, that's for sure. Uh, and then Bridget's talent art is not that helpful. She has she has that weird status that we only ever see a rarely, confining flames. It's that ring of fire that only like two unique monsters have in all rest, and yet she just has it as part of her moveset. It's the first time anyone that we have has been able to do that status. Uh, I can't help them up. I'm gonna shield here. I need to Imperial Tether if Mithra gets the aggro again. That's what I need to be doing here. I wasn't on Hugo enough, so it just wasn't available to me a lot of the time. I've been messing up a lot in this fight. I'm not gonna deny that. Okay. At this rate, we might be able to go after a G and after all. No, 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 you don't, no, you don't. No, no. Uh, heal up, please. No! Smack me down. Oh, she has a break switch art. That's what it is. That would have been good to be taking advantage of. It is an honor. Our efforts are paying off. I need to learn more. I'll say you do. Adam, take the Ascension Waffles. Good for the body and for the soul. I mean, we were just talking about how your cooking tastes like shoes. Hugo can take the Unforgettable Talisman as that gives special recharge, and I am wanting to show those off. Aegean likes it as well. And I think I'll give Laura a damage barrier. Just in case I'm not on Hugo and I can't get over to her to, like, get the aggro off. I have 1776 HP. How patriotic for a ruler to have. <laughs> Even though our whole thing is that we don't have ruler. Okay, so. Uh, I'm gonna use Imperial Tether more. I need to take advantage of that. So Bridget, in short, she is a good tank. She gets stronger the more that she evades a Oh my god. Uh, get over. So much for doing better, right? Starting on Bridget this time because she evades attacks better. Oh my god. I was saying, she evades attacks well. Downside is that you have to be on her and you can't switch off if you want to take advantage of that, which kind of sucks because switching off is the way that you heal. Uh, her... I'm not going to be able to do this, am I? God, and I was actually going to show off a Gian in this fight. Could you even imagine what a gong show that would be? I want to get behind this guy. So that I can attack from behind with Jin, do a lot of damage that way. Oh my. He has a blowdown art that attacks out of the back. Are you for real? I can't do anything to this guy. He's just nuts. Chill struck from the back. Uh, this is a back attack special. I am just doing nothing to this guy. I thought this would be a. Enough. I thought this would be a fun challenge. Maybe we could. We'll avenge ourselves next time. I was also partially doing this because we still need our one level two blade combo for blade coaching And I thought this would be a nice way for us to get that while taking something on so I'll do this until I can get a blade combo to level two again What? What? How did I get you to half HP the first time? I even put on better items after failing once. What the hell? We shall do better Harbinger is right <laughs> Okay, so the back is bad. Being too close to the front is bad. Let's get, like, kind of toward the back, I guess? 
but not really in the back? That sounds better. This was as close as I was able to get on a repeat attempt. I got my blade combo, I'm good. Jin's level three special doing higher damage to higher leveled enemies as well as his inexhaustible, I think is the key to pulling that up. I was never able to inflict break on it though, no matter how many times I use Swallow's Flight. I will make full use of this skill. Krogane! Excellent work. I can tell you perform the five blade combos I asked for by just smelling you. I'll report with good news to Roly Poly, my driver. I have to hand it to you. You passed the preliminary test with flying colors. Oh, didn't I tell you? This is a two step process. The real test starts now. Considering your skills, I'd say you're ready to move straight on to the next step. I'll be right here, so come talk to me whenever you're ready and we'll continue. Good luck to y'all. Got that done passively while doing quests, while doing everything else. Good quest to accept early just so it's done. You can rest easy. Blade combo boost one, two of them to be precise. And we can talk to him again to have another quest to take with us. I knew you'd be back. Can't resist a challenge, right? Like I said, I need to make sure my driver has capable allies to escort him on this dangerous mission. So I'll have to ask you to do something a little trickier than last time. Is that what we were working towards? I didn't know that, that was what it was. Here's what I want you to do. Basically, it's the same drill as before, but now I need you to do five of your finest three stage blade combos. Like I said before, a blade combo is a string of specials and the third stage is not that different from the second. For the three stages, you'll need to use a special that's at least level one, two, and three respectively. That's the basic principle. And since you cleared my first trial, uh, let me tell you about the critical roots while you're here. A critical root is what we call a special blade combo that follows a particular element sequence. The one I know is fire, fire, then light. Do that one and you'll deal much more damage than with just a normal combo. But there are plenty of other critical roots to discover. I'm hoping you'll take this chance to experiment a little. Ah, don't worry though. Critical roots really aren't part of the test, so I won't grade you on that. Basically, I don't, uh, my, I, I don't really mind what blade combos you pull off as long as you reach the third stage. As before, you can pick the place, time, and target. My ether abilities let me track your movements. There's no trouble in that regard. Looking forward to the results. He's watching you while you sleep. He knows what you do at all hours of the, the day. He's Santa Claus. I always thought that was kind of scary as a kid that like Santa could like see me at any given time and I never had any privacy. I don't know. Thing that I thought as a kid that I don't know if a lot of kids thought that deeply into. So, that is every single quest that we are doing in Gormot. There is one more. This is just in a level 40 area. It's not smart to really go after right now, so we won't be. I wanted to go into the Titan ship really quick, just to kind of see what was up here. This is a treasure trove in the present. Yet I guess the, oh no, we are on the upper level, Never mind. I was thinking that this was just gonna drop down into the uh, lower floor and that this area wasn't gonna be built yet. There is a treasure trove up here, just as there is now. Critical up one, outdoor attack up one, two of them. Whoa, you didn't even have a second and third ox core equipped. Uh, blade combo boost, critical up would be wasted on you. Maybe... Yeah, this stuff is pretty worthless. Uh, take the blade combo boost. Aegean's got two ox cores and we haven't taken advantage of that yet. He can take an outdoor attack up, I suppose. We have a lot of these things. And we have our first Hunter's Chemistry. I haven't given this to anyone. I'll stick it on Aegean because he's the least helpful blade uh, in Hugo's arsenal. Aboard the ship, we can speak to Vil Ethelmar, the Special Inquisitor. I believe the only time that his name is ever mentioned, he's just the Special Inquisitor otherwise. If the worst were to happen, my duty is to return Bridget and Aegean's core crystals to Morardane. Of course, I hope that's never necessary. Vient Horison. I'm so sorry for the experience that you led in uh, elementary and middle school. I am Vient Horison, a special envoy of Morardane. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. To commemorate this auspicious meeting, allow me to inform you of something. Did you know that all driver weapons are furnished with elements? Yes, uh, fire and water element, all that stuff. For example, the crown jewels of Morardane, Lady Bridge's fire, Gina's water. Telling us about elemental weaknesses. Got him registered to the community. Oh, and Bethane had something new to say. 
You lot like fighting is you lot fight in specialized roles, surely. Like one's a defender, one's an attacker, one heals. The best attacker needs to be out front attacking the enemy until one of them goes down. That's not to say attackers should be reckless. The more you attack an enemy, the more aggro you're gonna draw. That's the problem for an attacker. You need to moderate the attack and have the defense absorb some of the aggro. That's the iron law of combat. Well, of course there's no need for me to tell you that. You managed to best me in combat after all. And then we have Minnie over here. She's taller than me. Oh hi, your group's grown since last time, right? Uh. Well, I certainly haven't grown in height. I guess that means that when you do pretty cool blade combos when your friends make combo requests, right? Did you know blade combos happen in- Jeez, they are talking about this so much! Everyone's just telling us about critical roots and magic happening and all that! I suppose you need friends for that, Sniff. Oh, you aren't- You don't get added to the community, what am I saying? I also want to add that her name is Minnie, and look at how tall she is compared to Jin. Jin is canonically six foot seven, making him one of the tallest people that we ever see in this game. <laughs> Why? Okay, well, we're all done in Gormont. That's every point that I wanted to hit. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we talk to Ged and we head out for Aletta to meet up with Adam's militia. See you guys then.